Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an alarm on Windows 10. So I am aware that there are many applications through third parties as well as websites that will do this for you online. However, in Windows 10 there actually is a very nice and convenient feature to create an alarm setting. And it's really no hassle at all to set it up. So I thought I'd do a brief tutorial highlighting this nice application. And it's going to be pretty straightforward. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And we are going to start by heading over to the Start menu. And then we are going to type in Alarms and Clock. Please keep in mind Alarms is a plural in this um, application. And right below it, it should say Trusted Windows Store App. So at this point, you can proceed to left click on it. Now you might launch onto any one of these tabs up at the top, so just keep that in mind. So for example, if our alarm is turned off, it'll say off right here. So it might vary on what your time is currently set here, but we can change it. We can see that it's currently set to say good morning at 7 a.m. every day. If we turn that on, we can left click on this good morning and it actually will let us change all the settings through this one page. So we can number one at the top set what time we want the alarm to go off on. Underneath alarm name, if we left click on what currently says good morning, we can change it to whatever the name of the alarm we want it to be to better represent what we are creating the alarm to do. So many of you guys might want it to just say good morning at 7 in the morning or you might have something you wanted to remind you about at a certain time. At this point you can just insert the, whatever the corresponding name would be. And you can also set when you want the frequency of this alarm to go off. We see that it said every day is the default one. If you want you can deselect certain days of the week. It doesn't appear it will let you do a one time alarm through this specific page. So just keep that in mind if you want just to create an alarm for one day. I mean, you could do that, but you would just have to go back in and disable this once you're done. So the following day, I guess. You can also change what sound is delivered. So if you left-click on, well, it says chimes for me, but it might say something else for you guys. You can preview the audio. So you have a variety of different little audio noises that will play. Now you can just click on any of the white space on this other window in order to get out of those selections. And we can also see the snooze time, so if you wanted to delay the alarm once it's already gone off, you can set it to play again after 10 minutes. So if you wanted to dismiss it, you could set it for 5 minutes, 10, 20, 30, or even an hour. And then you can go on this little trash can icon in the bottom right, and this will actually delete whatever alarm you're created here. Please keep in mind you can actually have multiple alarms, it doesn't have to just be one alarm at a time. So if you wanted your morning wake up call to be with the chimes and then you wanted your lunch to be a jingle, um, you could definitely do that. You just have, would have to create two separate alarms. So let's say I created an alarm right here for 8 a.m. and it will be a chime every day. I go back, we can see that at the bottom right now, once we went back on the previous page, there's a plus sign here and we can actually create a new alarm. So again, we can, instead of saying alarm name, let's call it lunch alarm. And we can see that it's set to repeat only once. If you wanted to only repeat one time, this is the setting that we are looking for. So just keep that in mind. It's set to only repeat once. And again, the snooze time is 10 minutes as well. And in order to save the changes, you can just left click on this little floppy icon in the bottom right corner, which will save it. And if you select the little icon next to it, that has the three little dots in it, you can left click on that. And you can see there's pretty much no other settings listed here. But if there were there, you can maybe see more information because you can see that the save name underneath the floppy icon is hidden once you minimize this. And that's pretty much it with the alarm. While I'm in this tutorial, I might as well just show you guys you can also create a stopwatch through this page as well, which will actually count up. There's a timer that you can set how much time you want to count down. I believe this is a countdown timer and the stopwatch is counting up. 
also a world clock in there as well and you can actually change other settings on some of these other pages as well but we're pretty much focused on the alarm section for the purpose of this tutorial and I think that's where we're pretty much going to conclude this review so again I hope you guys took something from this tutorial and I will catch you in the next video goodbye